What's going on guys? Knight here and I'm back. So, question of the day like always. Do you ever consider yourself the reincarnation of a once powerful yokai? I hope you guys are doing really well as I am doing well myself. Sorry for the last episode if I didn't already reiterate it in the previous video but in that video while I was recording I was a bit sleepy so I dozed off a couple times during the episodes, but hopefully it's not too noticeable and didn't ruin the video too much. But, on another note, I am doing really great today. Um, something really nice happened and I'm really excited about it, so I can talk about it a little later, but for right now, let's get on to Danganronpa V3. Is there something here? No, let's decide that after we search it. We must get anything that stands out. Let's see, there's rope here. It's a very long rope. Kyo said it's about 65 feet long. Anyways, what is this rope? Could this be related to the case? Oh, well, there's a puddle around it. Puddle. There's a puddle behind the staircase. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around here is completely dry. Perhaps someone was wet who was wet was here doing something. Let's see. Water tank, do we investigate this already? There's nothing strange about this from behind. Other than the large size, it's just a normal tank. I see. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. Gee, <laughs> very mysterious. How I wonder, did Himiko escape from this tank? However, I believe that if we figure out the route Himiko took, we can discover how Ryoma got in there. That is true. I need to reveal how Ryoma got into the tank. Let's see, let's talk to Kyo. Listen. Since the show was used for the murder, we must investigate Himiko's trick as well. Perhaps there are clues here? That's Kaito. Oh, that's the body. Get the rope. Pretty sure we're up here. This staircase goes up to the top of the stage. Inspecting it closely, I can see that some places on the side are wet. That might have something to do with the puddle next to it. I've investigated just about everything to do with the stage, but I still don't know how the trick was performed. Hmm. Hey, so. Hey, how long are you going to investigate here? We still got to find a culprit, you know. You know what, Kaito? I am trying to find a culprit, bro. You just keep nugging me along as your sidekick, alright? I'm not Robin. Come on, let's go. Kaito. Oh, wait, Kaito! I believe we investigated everything we need to for now. Well, our, our investigation is over now. So, who's the culprit? Bro, <laughs> we don't know anything yet, really. We've just looked around. No. I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. Come on, man. What? You still don't know? I never thought detective work would be such work, bro. <laughs> oh, Kaito. So where else are we gonna investigate? That's first the pool, next to the gym. They're connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked at. That's true. After that, I want to go to Ryoma's room and find out which mode video he had. Then I want to investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. I've deduced that the handcuffs we found in the water tank probably came from there. 
Is that everything? Oh. Last of all, the ultimate magician's lab. I want to know more about Himiko's trick. If we go there, I'm sure we'll find there'll be some kind of clue. Hmm. So we still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Shuichi. After all, it's gonna be you doing all the heavy lifting here. Come on, <laughs> what? You're so useless. <laughs> You're right. Oh, right. Don't screw around. What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? <laughs> yeah, you're not doing anything. <laughs> is there a right way to respond to that? I don't think there is. Well, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Also, guys, in these past couple of days, I've been doing some thinking, and after some thinking, I've come to the conclusion that the one and only... Actually, I can just teleport. Let's just teleport outside. Oh, um, actually, I want to go outside. Yeah, let's see that. We'll go to the pool first. But after some thinking, I've came to a conclusion that I might think that it is in fact Angie who murdered our boy, Ryoma. So that definitely might be the case, but I'm going to do a lot of investigating to make sure that it is not her. But if it is, I'm going to be really depressed. But Kaito's here again. Hmm, so this is the pool. It's not much like a school pool. So when does we investigate above the stage and the gym connects to here, right? Alright! The, the culprit probably got in and got out from here. Alright, investigate every nook and cranny. You're not gonna do it yourself? Of course we have to do it. There's an inner tube floating in the pool. It looks like a big sturdy rubber one. I see. Let me guess, some idiots didn't clean up after themselves. Rise and shine our sign. Let's go. <laughs> Don't look at us. I don't like water. I prefer juice. True. That's kind of factual. We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. It makes losing weight a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. You know, Mono Dam might be onto something. I kind of want to go in the pool now. Yeah. I don't care about losing weight. Oh, uh, who cares about losing weight? You stupid idiots! We're not here to play. We're here to smack these bastards into the pits of hell. We're the Monokuma Cubs, the meanest, nastiest, cruelest mascots around. Dumbass! If y'all don't get it, I'll throw you in the pool myself. Well, they gonna want to go in the pool, so you're really helping them. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Please don't! Can't we all get along? Monosuke, please stop. Can't we all just get along? What? You you're saying that if we don't get along, I'll end up like Mono Kid? Oh, you don't want the dot dot dot. So long. Farewell. So then, it was one of us who put the inner tube there, not the model cups? Well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube probably isn't related to the case. Isn't related to the case. If it were just for a plan around, then. Why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be for? That is intriguing. It definitely is related to the case. 
Oh, is that Ryoma's like shirt? Huh? There's something floating in the pool. Hmm. It looks like a little piece of fabric. Jeez. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. You know. We're looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up trash. Uh, okay. Ah, yes, but. Perhaps it's just my intuition, but it does bother me. I should learn to trust it sometimes. My intuition as the ultimate detective. Black piece of fabric has been added to the truth bullet section of your model pad. Alright, the window's right there. This building is the school building. That means that must mean that the window goes somewhere. Most of the windows are blocked up, but that one looks normal. What room has that window? That's a point of interest. Now we know that's the gym. Storage room door, let's check in here. This is a pool's equipment shed. I'll take a look inside, just in case. Huh? Is that? An electric air pump? I see. You could easily fit a large inner tube with this. Fill a large inner tube. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. Alright, what else do we have here? That's the entrance. Diving board. It's a large diving board. It looks like something you would find at a resort. Nothing about it has changed. Oh, there's the window. You can see the gym windows over there. That's the window we investigated from the on top of the stage in the gym. I mean, it's pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it with just a ladder. Uh, okay. I agree. The ladder only barely reached the window, and it was on the stage. Oh, maybe they used the inner tube like as a lasso and pulled themselves up from there. Hmm. If that's the case, it might have been hard for someone to have gone through there. Okay. Yeah, you might be right. No, I definitely think the lasso has something to do with it. Yeah, uh, we can check the rules. Some pool rules are posted here. There's one I find peculiar. There are also some specifications right in here. The pool is 82 feet in length and 39 feet in wet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each end and the left and right sides are 8 feet each. There's something bothering me about the pool rules, they say. Oh, Monokuma. Well, well. Oh no! No jumping into the pool, especially at nighttime. Whoa! Whoa! Where do you come from? Yeah, yeah. I mean, jumping itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you. <laughs> oh, Monokuma, God. No, no, no. But the pool is off limits at nighttime. See? No swimming at nighttime. That's... That would be a violation, right? Hey, um... If anyone violated a school regulation, a campus-wide siren will blare. <laughs> Alright, so... It couldn't have happened at night. It would have to be, like, during the day or during, um... Like, the afternoon. So that would mean... When Gonto was chasing everyone and we were in the insect meet and greet, they couldn't have died during then. Is that right? Because it was. It was like late at night because we got out at 11 p.m., I believe. Hmm. And then that person will be ripped apart by the axles! What? You would go that far? Oh, yeah! Well. So far, the siren hasn't gone off, so who needs to be ripped apart? 
yet. <laughs> um, since that's the case, we can assume no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime. Oh, yeah. Well, not at the very least, no one alive. See ya, Manukuma. No swimming at nighttime. That just might play into this case. Pool rules has been added to the truthfulest section of your model pad. So I just have to remember you can't swim during nighttime in the investigation. I mean in the trial. Hey, so Hey Shuichi, does this pool really have anything to do with the case? We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there were any clues here. Bro, are you joking me? <laughs> Well, that inner tube is still bothering me. I don't know what it what it tells us, but I feel like it's related to this case. But you know, but you know, if that inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it is related to the case, why don't they clean it up? So, just leaving it sitting out like that, don't you think that's a straight up careless? No. No. Even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no pole or anything around here that you could use to get that inner tube. Remember, the water level is so low, you couldn't grab the tube even if you did manage to bring it closer. But you know, then why not just jump in and fish it out by hand? Oh, oh, that's right. They couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yes, I suppose you could think of it that way. Oh, never mind. I guess they they didn't have to swim because they could have just took it out the water because that wouldn't be in violation. And the person got wet, and that's why with the inner tube. So that's why there's water on the stairs and also next to the back of the tank. You know... Well, we can't stay here forever, right? Let's go check out the other places. All right. There's no time to waste. Isn't that right, sidekick? You're right. Yeah, sure. All right, time to skedaddle. Alright, the other place I wanted to check out, well, Shuichi wants to check out, is the Ultimate Tennis Pros Lab, Ryoma's Room. I guess since we're right here, we can check Ryoma's Room. Where's Ryoma's Room? There we go. Oh, what the heck? Why is it so slow? Now it's weird. So... This is Ryoma's room, huh? So where's this video? I don't see it out here anywhere. Maybe he put it on his bookcase. Kaito opened all the drawers one by one, checking each of them. Huh? That's weird. I can't find it anywhere. You're right. I see, so we can't find it. That's alright. That's a clue in itself. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Well... Now we know... That someone knows that... Their motive. Hey! You see, if we're supposed... The motive for the crime was the video... There's a high probability that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember. If their motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately suspicious. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. Ah. See, I was right. Nice. That's true. Okay. And the video is not in the room, which means. Got it. So it's just like we thought. The video was a motive. Okay. Yes, the best explanation that I can think of. That's my sidekick. Alright. 
that's just what I expect from my top sidekick. Do you have other sidekicks that I don't know about? Shuichi. What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Ah, nothing. So. By the way, I was thinking. I mean, maybe we all should have watched those mother videos after all. Huh? What? Nah. They showed the most important people to us, right? That's right. So maybe we should have watched them. Without looking away from the truth. I mean... At the time, I agreed with Kibo. But after thinking about it, I changed my mind. That's right. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we could just watch them together. Uh, um... Watch them together? Got it. Yeah, we should have gathered together and watched all the videos, shared everybody's motive. Even if there's something you can't bear by yourself, it's possible with everyone. Yeah. That's what cooperation is, right? Ah. Uh. That's what Kokichi was trying to do. Huh? Huh? Hey. Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us into the same room. Hmm. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? Do you think the same way? Nah. N no. If he, if that's what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Dang, Kokichi's not that bad. Jeez. That's what a normal people person would have done. But the thing he is, he's not normal. That's right. Maybe he did want us to cooperate, but there's no way to know for sure. He would never tell us. That's true. It's impossible to know what Kokichi is thinking. But I suppose he could have, have been acting in our favor for once. Well, that was a dud. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we can check? Check his closet real quick. I should investigate it here as well, just in case. Okay, cool. When I opened the closet, I discovered several identical sets of clothes, just like Ryoma wore. Hmm. Just like my room. Oh, so these guys just have the same clothes that they wear. <laughs> Like a freaking cartoon character. Ah. Yeah, my closet's like that too. It's packed with nothing but my uniforms. Hmm. Really? It must be the same for everyone. That's right. There's no cup heads here, so the culprit must have taken it. Let's see, what's on this bed? It's a normal bed. It looks like the one in my room. I don't see the Cubs pet here. Nothing else out of no ordinary either. Alright, time to skedaddle. Alright, back inside. And we're going to go to the Ultimate Pro Tennis Player's room. We'll just teleport there, so... We'll go here, and then... Go this way. Oh! This is the Magician's room. We can do that. Hmm, so this is Hemiko's research lab. Where are we going to investigate again? Hmm. The trick that Hemiko used in her magic show. I need to figure out how it worked. You know... Well, you say that, but what if it was really magic, with no tricks or mechanisms? Are you joking? <laughs> That's... Well, that would be a problem. But it's not just about the trick. 
I need to ask that guy some questions. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. Did you want to ask me something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You're my favorite, after all. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. Hey. I do, actually. It was about when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You snuck into our rooms to steal our Mona videos, right? But is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. I see. You wanna... You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday? That's a good question to ask. The gym is off limits during nighttime, so Ryoma was probably killed before or after. Which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious since everyone was doing their own thing. Hey. And what were you doing then? Um... It would be easier if I just explained step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Shuichi Gonta. Um, after you regained consciousness, Shuichi, Gonta brought Himiko and Angie. And that was about five minutes before 9 p.m. Right after that, I left Gonta's lab and headed towards the dorms. And I thought I'd be back in an hour, the start of nighttime, but something happened. Huh? Something happened. Hmm. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab. So it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Hmm. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? I mean, she can be my mommy if, if we're asking. I mean, what? All right, let's keep going. If I remember correctly, didn't you ask Kurumi to be your mom earlier? Yeah, man. You can't fall back on that. Be a real man. That's so mean. She just kept talking. And I finally... It then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. Huh? A whole hour? <laughs> well, the first half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half, bruh. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? These guys are just talking and then, uh, let's play tag. <laughs> Yo, that was something I would do. God, that's cancer. <laughs> she was starting to bore me, so I turned around to leave and then... Please wait. Stop right there. Our conversation isn't over yet. Uh... I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. Come on, Miss Mate. Catch me if you can. That is. Is that a request? So that means. And then I guess Kareem decided to take Tag super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end, she called me a little before 10 p.m. I'm disappointed. Then she started lecturing me again and let me go when nighttime started. Right. <laughs> Uh, you get bodied and tag, and then you get lectured again. Come on. So, so do your alibi still hold up even when she was chasing you around? Maybe. We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah, they should hold up. From 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kokichi and Kurumi have alibis. <laughs> After Kurumi let me go, I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. But by the time I returned to Gunter's lab, it was already 11 p.m. Then from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Oh ah. uh, yeah, I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. Huh? Something odd? Hmm. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around in the courtyard in her underwear. What? Was that new? It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was. Was it Mew? Cause she did say that she showed Gon to the goods. A girl in her underwear? What the hell is he talking about? 
Kokichi's account has been added to the Truth Blood section of your mono pad. By the way, by the way, you didn't get captured by Gonta yesterday, did you, Kaito? Where were you, and what were you doing? Uh, okay. I was wandering around the whole time. I had in the bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Hmm. What are you doing here, Samugi? Yeah, what are you doing here, Samugi? Um. Uh, well, I'm investigating. I know I'm plain, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. <laughs> I hate, I hate that so much. Stop saying plain, please. <laughs> please, for the love of God. Uh, okay. Ah, is that so? Hey, so. So, do you find any clues? I'm still thinking about it. Are you plainly thinking about it? Are you plainly still thinking about it, Samugi? Huh? Huh? Hmm. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about them. No. Um, no. In fact, I still haven't found anything. <sighs> then get to it! Looking around is how you find clues. Well, you're one to talk, Kaito. You haven't done anything. I've been doing everything right now, you lazy bum. <laughs> but... but I think leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. Samuki gave Kokichi a, menace a meaningful glance. Hey. So I decided to plainly keep an eye on him. Oh no. That way, even plain old me can help out. <laughs> oh my god, this plain thing is so... Oh, what the heck? Let's see... We have a saw cleaver right here. What a huge saw! It's probably used for a saw person in half trick. Large water tank. It's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. So... It looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this one was a backup. That's what Himiko told me and Kiba when we carried the tank out of here. Then... Then perhaps we can investigate this tank. We can learn the secret of the trick. In Courage, I began to walk around the tank. I was looking for anything that could be a switch or a mechanism. Hmm. Huh? What's this? Ooh, what did we find? There's a segment of the water tank near the top that opens up. But why open up here? Oh, wait. Perhaps this isn't random. This segment had to be open up here. Wire truck tank has been added to the true bullet section of your model pad. Let's see. Bird cage. I don't think anything else is important. Not the cauldron. Yeah, we can leave. Now to find the tennis pros lab, which I believe is on the second floor. Third floor? Yeah. Maki's here. Hey, Maki, what are you doing here? Um, earlier you said you weren't going to help investigate. Were you serious about that? So what? You'll be fine even if I don't do it right. You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can't solve this case on your own? Hey, you know what, Maki? I would slap you, but I'm a good guy. Uh, um... That's completely different. This is... Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That's pretty harsh, but my sidekick is working his ass off. Huh? Sidekick? Got it. Yep, Shuichi's my sidekick now. Hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? 
The dumb one should be the sidekick. So... The dumb one? I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my thing. Well... Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for an investigation? Yeah. You know... More importantly, why have you been here the whole time? Is there a reason? Like I'd know. Why do you care? No. Because it's been bothering me. Uh-oh. Talk to her. You've been in here ever since this room opened up. Almost if you've been keeping watch, making sure no one else enters. I don't understand. Is this an interrogation? No. Oh, uh, no. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just want you to talk to me, Maki. If this has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey! It's true that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that alright? But you should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because? Because all of our lives are on the line. Is that so? Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone to my door last dorm at night to shower, including last night. Alright, good, you're not a smelly bitch. Hey! Then I gotta ask you this. Did you see Gonta at all last night? Gonta was searching the grounds last night, trying to capture all of us. Why? Oh! Maybe she was the half-naked girl that... Kokichi saw. How are you able to avoid being caught? Gonta did stop by, but I didn't manage to chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him, If you lay your hands on me, I'll choke you to death with your own tongue. That's all. Damn. <laughs> Scary ass. <laughs> Yo. Hmm. So Gonta got scared off by that? Well, I guess he would hold back against a girl. Yeah, he's a gentleman. As I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind. Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason did she have for that? Hey. Are we done here? You're wasting my time talking to me. I don't know anything. Oh, for some reason I kind of like that pouting face of Maki. But I still don't like you, Maki. Ah. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? Huh? You are? That's right. Well, her alibi's a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. Uh, I hope these aren't the same instincts as your gambling ones, because those would be pretty bad right now. Hey, so... But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe in you. He's my sidekick, you know. He's pretty good. I'm not more- I'm not pretty good. I'm pretty fucking damn good. And then the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. But no one else can verify that testimony. That might be a problem later. Maki alone has been added to the truthlet section of your model pad. Mommy! Hmm. What are you doing here, Kurumi? Do you agree? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced towards Maki. Hmm. So you're staying with Maki? Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a massage? Bro, are you serious? <laughs> May I? But of course, since you're here, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? Oh, yes, please ask me anything. The time of death was not provided, so I'm questioning everyone in order to determine that. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Uh, um. Right before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around 6 in the evening. So. Last time I, I saw him was way before then. I didn't see him at all yesterday, actually. Then. Then you're fine, Kaito. What's important is the last time someone witnessed him alive. Hey! Last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive? That is correct. 
Goto was the last one to see him alive at around 8 p.m. yesterday. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him using the Shukuchi method. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured? Dang, my man's ducking and dodging. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, of course. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Miyu saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonta. Hmm. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. Yes. We at least know Ryoma was alive yesterday until around 8 p.m. Witness and Ryoma has been added to the truth bullet section of your model pad. Alright. Now to teleport to the lab. This is getting spicy. The Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. If I'm right, then. The handcuffs that were found in the tank came from here. And if the handcuffs came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They may have left a trace of evidence. Hmm. This room is a little different from when we were here before. It feels off. I don't remember the net being down. I think I thought it was up last time we were here. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Ah, oh, nothing. Anyway. Let's figure out the handcuffs. We should take care of that problem first. Oh, I don't want to click that. Let's see. Let's go to the shower room. Oh, what the heck? Handcuffs in the shower. This is the first time I've been in here. It's a shower room, but it feels less like the Ultimate Tennis Pros. Oh, this was because he went to... He was in prison. Hmm. And more like the Ultimate Prisoner's Lab. Hey, so... Do you think it was made that way on purpose? Did they... Remount the shower just for that? Okay. Yeah, I think they did. Ugh. Jeez, Monokuma's got bad taste. Well, we already knew that. There they are, the handcuffs. Um. Hey, Kaito, handcuffs hanging on the wall. Hmm? This looks like. Uh, straight from Adam and Eve <laughs> scene. Oh, they're like the ones in the tank. Oh, wait, are they the same? Because I think so. Here, look. Remember, see one empty hook. The handcuffs we found must have been hung here, which means the culprit was definitely here. Scratch handcuffs have been added to the true bullet section of the model pad. Level 31, baby. Let's check the sink. There's a pretty big stone sink. You can fill it with a lot of water. Hmm. Huh? What's this? Hmm. Scratches on the stone is like something was scraped against it. Oh, the handcuffs were scraped against here? So... You're right. What's made them? These scratches are clearly not natural. They must have been made by some kind of metal. That is interesting. Scratch sink has been added to the truth bullet section of your model pet. Wait, this is the window outside? Oh, yo, oh, this is the window. So was he killed in the shower or something? This window has no vines or barbed wire or bars blocking it. 
This is the one up top. Could it be? There was that one window I could see from the pool area. This might be it. I'm gonna open it and check. Just as I suspected. Yes, this is definitely it. The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. Third floor is high up, but if they aimed well, they could reach the pool. But Monokuma said you can't go in the pool at nighttime, right? If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus wide siren will bear will blare. And then that person will be ripped apart by axles. You would go that far? Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one needs to be ripped apart yet. <laughs> because that hasn't happened yet, we can assume that no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime. Well, at the very least, no one alive. Oh, so they were killed and then thrown into the pool? Oh. Alright, so I think Ryoma was killed in the... Well, he was drowned. Well, he died from drowning, so... He couldn't have been in the pool. Because he would have been killed by the axles if he was still alive. So maybe he got killed in the shower. And then they threw the dead body into the pool. But you know... Why, why do you say no one alive? Is that alright? I believe she was hinted that a dead person wouldn't be considered to be breaking the rules. Which means it's possible that body was in the gym or pool at nighttime. You know. So there's a chance for him was carried to the gym after he was killed. But you know, there's no point of carrying his body there if you can't even get in it. Uh, I don't know, it's safe to say there was no point. Wait a second, what's this? Huh? Huh? Hey, so. Look, this was scratches on the window frame. You're right. Yeah, as if something scraped against it. Alright, so those are like the other ones we saw, so that's the handcuffs. These markings are similar to the ones that were on the gym's window frame. I'm positive these marks are a result of opening and closing the windows normally. This window frame is sturdy as well. The gym's window frame was the same way. It looks like it would it would even hold even with a lot of weight on it. Shuichi. Do you understand now, right, Shuichi? Huh? What? Got it. How amazing I am to have done such a super ultra important clue. Oh, uh, whatever, man. <laughs> I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary it's, of the Stars. It's all in a day's work for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. Nah, talk your shit, Shuichi. Marked window frame has been added to the true blood section of your model pad. We came here to confirm my suspicion about the handcuffs found in the tank. But we found even more important clues than I expected. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab, there's too many points to uh, points of concern to be mere coincidence. It must be important evidence. Hey! It seems like you figured something out. You seem more confident. Alright! Alright! Then on to the next place. There's no point in staying here. Okay. Right. All right. Hey, so. So where should we go? 
Oof. As he came out of the shower room, Kaito tripped and fell to the ground. Hold up. What the hell? Something caught my leg. That's. It, oh, it looks like a cable. Ah. Is this for the tenant note? Man, whoever left this here should be put in a corner. Wait, the tenant's net? Hmm. I see. So that's why this room felt odd. I should investigate this in detail. On that note, oh, you know what? We'll do the tennis net, and then after that, we will sign off. Hmm. The reason I thought this room fell off is because of the tennis net. I knew I, it was the tennis net. When I came here last time, the tennis net was up. Okay. But now the cable has been removed. So, like, someone took off the cable? Why would they do that? Hey! Kaito, can you help me? I want you to measure how long this cable is. Mm -hmm. No need. It's about 50 feet long. Huh? What? Ah. Oh, I was in the tennis club till middle school, so I know how long the cable is. Uh, um... You were in a tennis club. That's right. Oh. Were Ryoma and Kaito teammates once? No, he said until middle school, so they wouldn't have met. Hmm. That's why it pisses me off so much that Ryoma was acting like that. Hey. Do you know Ryoma from before? Ah. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. I mean, these days, there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like my hero to every tennis... Uh, he was like a hero to every tennis kid. Jeez. And then once I got to meet him, he became a coward. Don't you dare or say that about my guy, Ryoma. That pissed me off so much, I ended up being too hard on him. Damn. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. So... So what's suspicious about the one for the cable? Did something about it bother you? No. No, nothing suspicious. I was just checking. Hmm, hmm so detectives get bothered by small details, huh? <laughs> like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking a young wife, bruh. <laughs> What is that analogy? Tennis cable has been added to a true bullet section of your model pet. Already tired of investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. I just noticed a little Monokuma on the champagne, and then also... Are those the cubs? No, I think it's just Monokuma. Like, the Monokuma's on the vineyard, and then also the little angel Monokuma. <laughs> That's cool. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. <laughs> oh, Christ. Well, he's not wrong, though. In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? Anyway, the class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. <laughs> See you later. Shuichi. Looks like it's time, bro. Uh, okay. Yeah. Dumbass. Hey, why do you look so worried now? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. You can do it. I believe in you. Believe in me. Why? Why? 
Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the cult. Idiot. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason for that? Let's go. Huh? What? Listen up. Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... I believe in you. If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Shuichi! Shuichi, we're so young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or go into space. That is true. Let's do it. If you're not going to get yourself in gear now, then when? Now's all you got. Oh god. My voice sounded horrible right there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Kaito, I know. Keep your chin up. Yeah, that's the expression I wanted to see. Hehe. <laughs> that's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. I'm going to survive. We're going to survive together. That's it. Maybe I don't understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. Oh, what the? I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No. I want to live. I want to live a long life. I don't want to die. This is like the Nico Robbins speech. I can't die in a place like this. Never. Alright. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. So long. Farewell.